Ah, uh, being a hacker is so nice. I know, right? We can do whatever we want. Let's go, but wait, you guys hungry? There's a village over there. We can get some food. Oh, yeah, I'm starving. Let's go. All right, here, let's just pull up to this village and take a bunch of their food. It looks like they have a bunch of hay bales here. We can use this for bread. Let's go. I'm going to take this one. Wait, guys, let's just send all these hay bales back over to our house. We can use this to make some bread later. Let's go. Oh, yeah, let's just get all of this. And, well, wait a minute, guys. Hold on. Who's this? I think there's a villager here that's mad at us. Oh, uh, what are you guys doing? This is our bread. We just harvested it. Uh, we're just uh, borrowing it. Yeah, don't worry about us. Borrowing it? You're stealing it. I'm watching you do it. I'll be back. And, uh, oh, what? He'll be back? Did you guys just hear that guy? I don't know what he's so mad for. We need this bread. And, yeah, this bread is a lot more important in our hands than his. I'm starving. I cannot wait for this bread. All right, but anyways, guys, it looks like there's another pile of hay bales over here. We should grab this as well. All right, I'm just going to throw this over there. Wait, what's that over there? And Wait, what's what? And Hold on a minute. Wait, is that that villager? from earlier and uh what is he doing to our house wait is he putting tnt down what the it does look like he's placing something down we have oh, to stop him oh no uh guys i think he's blowing up our house it's kind of too late what oh no how did they get over there so fast i told you i'd be back <laughs> what in the world guys did we really just let a random villager destroy our house we're the hackers we cannot let that stuff slide what the heck why would he do that we just wanted some bread oh our house. Oh, gosh. I mean, I'm not going to lie. We were kind of just stealing all their bread. But, guys, we're the hackers. We cannot let that slide. We have to do something about this. Well, what do we do? Do we go hack the village? Uh, yeah, I, we definitely got to get our revenge. Yeah, let's go show these guys some revenge. We got to show them who's boss. Wait, wait, wait. Guys, they didn't do anything wrong. And, oh, wait a minute. Actually, when you say it like that, you're kind of right. They technically didn't do anything wrong. Hmm. Okay, well, what do we do then? We can't live in a house like this. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe we can build a new one? <gasps> wait a minute. I think that's the move. We gotta build a new house, and we gotta make it super hidden so that nothing like this ever happens again, because this is horrible. But, guys, where should we build our new hidden base? Hmm, I don't know. What's the most hidden place here? Um, I don't, I don't know. Hmm, let's see, let's see. Everyone look around the area we gotta find somewhere good and oh, wait i think i may have just found something guys why don't we build inside of this cave this looks like a really hidden spot oh yeah this looks nice uh are you sure i feel like the cave is kind of obvious what no no no, ruby we can make this area super hidden all we gotta do is just uh find a good spot to build it out where should we build the entrance at mm, should be somewhere that nobody will expect Back. Hmm, okay, let's see, let's see. We gotta find somewhere good. We gotta find somewhere that nobody will expect, and <gasps> wait a minute, guys. I think I have an idea. You see these gravel blocks over here? This gives me an idea. Oh, okay, um, wait, is this where the door's gonna be? Yeah, guys, we can build the door here. Let me grab a few pistons and redstone and all that, and check it out. What I'm gonna do is just put down a piston right over here like that, and let me also go over here next to it and just put down this redstone torch, and then a block over here, and all right, guys, do you know what I'm about to build? Uh, a door. Well, Oh, Cam, you got it right. It's a door. Check it out. Whenever I put a button over here and press it, the door is going to open up and then we can go through. Isn't that awesome? Wait, that's actually cool. What? Whoa. Yep, but it's kind of weird. We have to like fill it up with gravel each time we want to use it. But hey, it's going to be super hidden. Nope. No one is even going to know that it's here. All right, well, uh, now that we've got the door, uh, I guess we can start on the actual house part. Yeah, I want to hurry up and start building. Yep, that's the next step here. Let me open up the door again real quick. Oh, wait, actually, I think I have to put the button down over here. There we go. And okay, hold on. I, I think what we have to do to make this door a little bit better is just put down like a torch over here that way all of the gravel breaks when it falls but anyways now let's start clearing out the actual interior Ooh, all right we gotta make this a massive i want a huge house yep same here we gotta build the most epic hacker house ever but guys be careful we do not want to accidentally break into the cave then random people are gonna see our house uh, i kind of just did that well, patch it up patch it up and oh gosh wait hold on we have a lot less room here than we thought we did there's literally a big ravine right over here how about we just uh dig down a little bit we can make our house really tall instead of really wide uh, uh, yeah, let's do that. It seems all right to me. Yeah, we should still have plenty of room this way. But anyways, hold on. While we're building this, let's go ahead and patch up the door and also break this button over here. Everyone, you got to break it before you enter the house. And there we go. Let's just fix all that. And all right, nice. Now back to digging out the interior. All right, guys, we got to make this place absolutely massive. What are we going to put inside of our hacker base once it's done? Mm, uh, well, we're definitely going to need a swimming pool. I definitely 
a lot of gaming rigs. Ooh, those are some good ideas. Those are good ideas. But oh, guys, we got to build a missile launcher aimed at the village. Oh, what? So we can get revenge on them for, you know, uh, destroying our old house. Wait, wait. They didn't do anything wrong, though. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah, you might be right. But anyways, let's just keep on clearing out this space for now. We got to make this place awesome looking. Don't worry, Dash. I'm on your side. I think that's sick. Yeah, we definitely got to build that missile launcher soon. What did you say? Uh, uh, nothing, nothing. We didn't, we didn't say anything. All right, but anyways, this design is actually starting to look pretty nice. We've got, like, the first floor up over here, and then we got a second floor down here. Why don't we make this first floor up here kind of nice? What we could do is grab a little bit of glass, and, ooh, guys, why don't we make the floor of this floor out of some lime stained glass? That could look really cool. Ooh, this is a really good hacker color. Yep, this looks sick, and then, ooh, also, guys, what we could do, why don't we use some of these hacker wood blocks for the walls? All right, all right, I see the vision. This is actually starting to look pretty awesome. What we gotta do is just put these all around the walls over here and then wait hold on do we also have fences <gasps> guys we've got hacker fences check it out these things look sick well this place is starting to feel really homey yeah that looks so cool okay guys maybe that villager blowing up our house was a good thing this house is like an upgrade see we didn't have to blow up that village after all no nah, we should still blow it up it seems fun wait what all right but anyways let's focus on replacing all the walls and ooh, also the ceiling right now with some of these hacker wood blocks this should look pretty crazy i'll focus on patching up the floor over here all right all right sounds good here i'm just gonna keep digging out this ceiling and then replacing it with some hacker wood there we go hey guys i'm noticing a trend inside of our house there seems to be a lot of green everywhere well it's hacker colors of course we need it yeah i really like it yeah fair enough but literally everywhere you look it's just a bunch of green stuff but hey i mean it looks pretty cool still if you kind of look at the wood from far away it looks like it's molding uh wait don't say that i really like the wood okay 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 i'm sorry but here i'm just gonna keep putting down all of this wood it still does look pretty cool let's just keep putting down all this hacker wood all over the ceiling yep, i almost got this wall done i'm almost done with the ceiling as well and boom there we go the ceiling is all hacker wood and whoa that looks awesome this area is looking sick here now we just gotta do the walls over here and then finally we can start putting some stuff inside of the house and oh wait a minute hold on uh we kind of have a problem on this wall over here what we can do is put down the hacker wood and then go out over here in the cave and then just cover it up with some stone so that you know it still looks like a normal cave yeah oh, yeah that works perfectly oh yeah that works yeah let's just do that with all of the walls where we're gonna have wood sticking out uh, here i'll just put down all of the stone outside over here and uh there you go the walls filled in so you can see better sick okay here let me just put down all the stone and all right i think everything is covered up oh the way except for this hole over here now everything is officially covered up we have no wood blocks leaking out into the cave so hopefully no one tries to break into our house again but anyways this area is looking crazy we have so many hacker blocks everywhere yep and now i think we can start building the interior a little bit uh but what do we want to put here and yeah i think now is about time we start building that but hmm yeah what should we put in here we've got this little balcony up over here we can build something here first oh Okay, oh, so this is really close to the entrance. What's something welcoming we could put up here? Wait a minute. What about a sentry turret? That way, in case we have any intruders trying to get into our base, the sentry turret will automatically take them out. Uh, I don't know if that's exactly welcoming. No, no, no. This is really nice. I'm pretty sure some people use these instead of, uh, like, welcome signs. Oh, okay. I guess that'll help people feel safer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good. Here, we could just put it down right over there. And then pretty much, let me grab a zombie spawner to test it out. Whenever someone back walks into our house the turret is just gonna take them out look at that all right i guess that's pretty useful yeah yep it's like our own personal security guard but anyways let's also have a few couches up over here you know in case we got visitors who uh, i don't know they want to sit down and stuff we can just have like a few couches here like that a few more over here this area can just be like the the welcome waiting room i guess mm, i think i need some carpet too Ooh, all right all right yeah some carpet could look cool what about we use some green carpet we could just put down a bunch of it over here like this yeah i think it really tight the room together. Yeah, although, wait, this room is, like, kind of short. Our heads are, like, banging on the ceiling every time we jump. Uh, yeah, well, we just need to live with it, I guess. We already built it. Yeah, it's fine, but anyways, let's just put down all of this carpet over here, and all right, I think this welcome floor is complete. Now we gotta build some stuff on the next floor, and we have a lot more room up here. Our heads aren't gonna hit the ceiling too easily. All right, but, uh, what should we build right here? Hmm, let's see, let's see. What should we build here, and, oh, wait a minute, guys. Why don't we make this the kitchen floor? Wait, that's an awesome idea. Yeah, we gotta have a place where we can cook our food and all that. So uh, here, first things first, let's go ahead and finish up the floor over here. Let's just replace all this floor with a bunch of this lime stained glass. Alrighty, let's go. There we go. This is looking pretty crazy. And all right, all right. Now we gotta start putting down all of the kitchen stuff. So first things first, we gotta grab a 
refrigerator and ooh, wait hold on since we're hackers we gotta have three refrigerators we gotta have one for uh each day of the week actually yeah let's have seven refrigerators well that's a lot of fridges yep we gotta have a lot of food for um hacking uh, you know it takes a lot of calories yeah and wait all of these fridges are different yep we got a double fridge over here this one has a lot of room we got a smaller fridge with a little bit less room you know they're all pretty nice all right but uh, we should put something in the fridges though and yeah you're definitely right we need to have some food inside of the fridges because otherwise what's the point of the fridges so hmm what could be a good hacker food and ooh, wait what about some enchanted golden apples that's gonna be good Ooh, i have something even better what about this kind of apple it's a rainbow and wait what kind of apple and whoa rare croba apple what in the world is this i have no idea but i bet they taste like candy okay okay yeah let's definitely put some of those inside of the fridge there we go that seems like a very good meal for hackers but anyways we've still got uh the five fridges left that are unfilled what do we put inside of the next one hmm. Maybe some soup? Soup? What? Okay, soup sounds kind of boring. I'm not going to lie. We got to find something that's uh, good. Are you kidding me? Soup is awesome. Okay, okay. Fine, fine, fine. We can put some soup in there, but hmm, I'm trying to find any other crazy hacker foods that we could use right now. And <gasps> wait a minute. What about some of this ultimate stew? Ultimate stew? What is that? I don't know, but it looks pretty ultimate to me. Look, it's like changing colors and stuff. Oh. Oh, I can't stop watching it. Okay, okay. Well, that's going inside of the next fridge. Let's just yeet a bunch of that in there. Boom. And then, all right, you, you choose what's in the next one. Okay. Oh, what about this thing? And wait, what's that? And uh, <laughs> what, Ruby, is this Mountain Dew? What? It's Mountain Dew, yeah. Uh, I don't think it is a really good hacker food. This seems kind of unhealthy. Well, it's green. <laughs> what? Uh, okay, fair enough. I guess it kind of matches our floor. Come on, let's go. It'll be good to play when we have a gaming marathon. All right, all right, fair enough. I guess we could have some Mountain Dew, but here, I'm choosing what's in the next fridge in the next fridge let's put down a little bit of <gasps> we gotta put down some steak Ooh, that's pretty good gotta get a protein in yep let's go but anyways we've got two more fridges left to fill so here what should we put inside of these last two fridges and <gasps> wait i know what i'm putting inside one of the fridges we gotta put some cheeseburgers in there cheeseburgers yep i'm eating those all inside of this fridge over here let's go oh those look kind of weird what okay well what do you want to put inside of the last fridge um Let's just put in some cheese. Yeah, cheese. And, uh, well, what? Just cheese? <laughs> just like on its on, by itself? What? Pure protein deliciousness. Uh, okay, fair enough. I guess we can have a little bit of cheese. That seems kind of healthy. But anyways, we've got the fridges done, but this still isn't really a kitchen. There's still a lot of stuff missing in here. We gotta put down some countertops and sinks, you know? Yeah, we don't have any place to cook or wash our hands or anything. Exactly! So, uh, here, why don't we put down... Ooh, wait, uh, putting drawers up there? That seems like a good idea. We could put down a countertop over here on the left side next to all the fridges. And we could also have our kitchen sink over here and, uh, ooh, wait, we also need to have an oven we can put down our oven right over here next to the sink. There we go. That is looking pretty good. And ooh, what else do we need? We also need a blender. That way we can blend all of our steak and eat it really quickly. Ooh, yeah, that's a pretty good idea. But um, why did you make the countertops white? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah, you're right. We got to make it green. We got to make it the official hacker color. Just put down all of this green countertops over here like that. And boom, that is looking a lot nicer. Yep, that looks awesome. All right, but anyways, is that all we need inside of a kitchen? We have a few drawers over here, some refrigerators. Hmm. I feel like we're still missing something. Hmm, you're right. There is something missing. Wait, where are we going to eat? And Oh, yeah, you're right. We need to have a table and chair set so that we can sit down and eat. <gasps> Wait a minute. Check it out. We have hacker chairs. Wait, what? cute. That looks awesome. And wait, wait, hold on. Do we also have hacker tables? We gotta find out. Let me just look around in the table category really quick and oh, we got hacker tables. Look at that. That looks awesome. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Wait, I'm gonna put down some extra details too. Um, let's see. A ceiling fan here. Ooh, wait, a ceiling fan? That is awesome. All right, here. Let's just put down a few tables and chairs all around over here like that. That is looking pretty good, but hmm, what else do we have in here? It's gonna be kind of annoying having to get up, go to the fridge, cook your food, and just do all of that. That's gonna take so long. Yeah, that's pretty true, but uh, what are you suggesting? Hmm, let's see, let's see. How would hackers eat their food and, oh, wait a minute, I have an idea. We gotta do something with command blocks. Let me just give myself a command block really quick. A command block for food? Yep, this is gonna be an awesome idea. Check it out. What we gotta do is uh, put down a command block right over here. Let's just put it on the ceiling like that. Oh, okay. And then let me grab a button really quick and just put that down over here underneath the command block. And then inside of the command block, Block. I'm just gonna write the command set block and then uh, two blocks underneath it into cake. And check it out. Now, whenever we hit this button, we're gonna get some instant cake. Let's go. Wait, 
I love this. That is actually awesome. And then whenever you're done eating the cake, you can just spawn in a new one and spawn in a new one and, and you can keep spawning more and... Wait, this is actually kind of unhealthy. Unlimited cake. I love this idea. Okay, okay, hold on. Unlimited cake is cool, but we should probably have, like, unlimited other food as well because I don't know if cake is the healthiest food. Why don't we have some carrots as well? Uh, okay, but don't touch my cake. Okay, okay, fine, fine. We, we can leave the cake command block, but uh, why don't we also have an automatic carrot command block as well? We can have, like, a little uh, the area in the wall over here like this. Let's just go ahead and cover it up with some stone on the outside. Okay, all right. And then let me also go ahead and put down a few commands command blocks up here on the ceiling and then let me also grab a little bit of grass and a hoe and here we're just gonna put down a bunch of farmland down right over here and then hold on wait we also gotta have a little bit of water or else the farmland is gonna dry out oh we need a little bit of light as well oh yeah you're right you're right we need lighting how about we just replace these blocks here with some glowstone okay i think that'll be a nice touch let's go all right well anyways i think this farm should be about done now now the last thing we have to do is enter the command so let me just go ahead and type something into this command block we gotta do the same command Command as for the cake except instead of cake we gotta do it with carrots all right here let's see if this is gonna work let me just press down this button here and oh, check it out we got an automatic carrot farm wait that's awesome yep we can get infinite carrots but hold on a minute i'm pretty sure what we can do is just replace this stone here with a hopper just like that and now let me press the button again and Oh, wait, yeah, check it out. Look, the carrot is going to go inside of the hopper. That's awesome. Oh, I see. That way it automatically collects the carrot. And ooh, wait, hold on. We can take this even one step farther. Let me grab a barrel and just put down a few of those right over here like this. And then what we got to do is have these hoppers go inside of each barrel like this. And check it out. Whenever we press the button, we'll just get food sent into that barrel. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. It works. It works. That is actually awesome. But hold on a minute. We still have two command blocks left. What should we put inside of the other two command blocks? Hmm. What about uh, potatoes and then uh, something fun on the last one? Okay, okay. We can do potatoes here. I just put potatoes in this one. Let's see. Is this going to work? And Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I think when you activate the potato one, it activates both carrots and potatoes. Uh, that's fine, but hold on. What should we put in the last one? Hmm, what about some wheat for bread? Ooh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Wheat is going to be important. That way, we're not going to have to steal any more wheat from villages. Uh, yeah, and then our house won't blow up again. Yeah, but hold on a minute. Wait, it looks like the wheat command block is only putting out uh, seeds. We don't need seeds. We need actual wheat. Oh, uh, I guess we can use them uh, like strawberries instead. And what? Strawberries? Uh, okay, let's see. Are strawberries gonna work instead of wheat? I don't know. We gotta try it. All right, all right. I just set it to strawberries. Let me press the button and... Oh, the way it's only putting out the strawberry seeds. Mm, there has to be something that works. Come on. Mm, okay, okay. What type of plant can we use that isn't gonna just give us its seed? And oh, wait, hold on. I think the only answer is beetroot. Wait, I love beetroot. I don't, but beetroot it is. Beetroot is fine, I guess. Hey, you'll get over it. It's pretty good. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's test it out. Is beetroot actually gonna work? And what? Beetroot also just gives us its seeds. Okay, never mind. How about we only have potatoes and carrots? Um, okay. Yeah, no beetroots, unfortunately. But here, let's just go ahead and move the carrot and potato generators a little bit uh, farther from each other so that when you press one, it doesn't activate the other one. And all right, I think this little uh, infinite food system should be done. This thing is sick. All right, and I'll just put down some uh, pots and stuff. And I think this kitchen is pretty much done. And ooh, nice. Yeah, all right. This kitchen is definitely looking decked out. We can make literally any food we want here. Oh, yeah. This kitchen's looking sick. Wait, wait, wait. Where have you been? And, wait, yeah, Kim. You didn't help with the kitchen at all. Oh, yeah. I was sick. I, I had a virus. Oh, uh, all right. Well, are you good now? Uh, yeah, I should be good. All right. Well, anyways, now that the kitchen is done, the next thing we got to do is work on the next floor. So uh, let's go down another level here. Let's clear out a bunch of space again. And, uh, do wait. Cam's not moving. Hold on. Did you get another virus? Ah, uh, break. Yeah, I gotcha. What? Uh, okay, that was kind of weird. But here, let's just keep clearing out a bunch of space down over here. We gotta make another big room. I guess I'll start on the walls then. All right, sounds good. I'll just work on clearing out the space for now. But guys, what should we actually build inside of this room? We gotta come up with what to build. Mm, we have a welcoming room. We have a kitchen. What comes next usually anyways? Giant spaghetti fountain. Uh, what? Spaghetti fountain? How can you make a fountain out of spaghetti? It's like a solid. Uh, Dash, I don't think that's a good idea. I think the virus is taking over his brain. Giant spaghetti mountain. <laughs> what? Those are both horrible ideas. Why would we need those? Hold on a minute, guys. I think we might actually be able to build a giant spaghetti fountain. Let me just grab some dispensers and observers really quick. Oh, yeah. Wait, are you kidding me? Check it out. Check it out. We can put down a dispenser here with a bunch of spaghetti inside of it. And then if I put down two observers behind it like that, boom, check it out. We got a spaghetti fountain, although it's not that giant. Uh, okay. I think this probably would have been better for the kitchen, though. <laughs> 
<laughs> not, not Cam is just eating all the spaghetti. That is kind of gross. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I don't uh, want to okay. see this. Can we just destroy this and put this in Cam's room or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait, Cam, you save that for your bedroom. Here's all the materials to build it. It was like one long noodle. That was perfect. <laughs> what? Okay, well, let's make it a little bit taller than the last room so that we have even more space to jump around in and not hit our head on the ceiling. Alrighty, I'll take care of this back wall over here. All right, sounds good. I think the room should be big enough now. We just got to deck out the walls with some of our hacker wood. This is the wall building song. Oh, no, he's singing again. Oh, gosh, wait, dude I made a like wall building, building song? I walls to the wall building song. Dude, we talked about this. Stop. What, you guys don't like the wall building song? Why do you have a wall building song? I don't build walls with the wall building song. Dash, make him stop. Uh, Ken, go, go easy with the wall building song. We got to do less of the wall building song and more actual wall building. So there we go. Now the walls are done. I was just doing it to pass the time. You guys are just haters. What? Okay, well, anyways, let's just replace the floor with a bunch of these wood blocks as well. There we go. This place is looking pretty nice. But guys, we still haven't figured out what we're going to build on this floor. We need to come up with that. Mm, let me let me take a look. Let's see. Let's see. What could this room be used for? We have a lot of space here. Mm. Wait, I want to build the gaming room here, right under the kitchen. And oh, wait, the gaming room? That's a good idea. We got to build like the whole gaming and computer setups down here. All right, but anyways, now this room is pretty much entirely done. We got all of the floor and the walls done. Now it's time to build the hacker gaming setups. And here, Dibs, I'm building mine over here. Uh, I build mine uh, right here. And I guess I'll just use whatever room is left. All right, and here, I'm going to build the walls out of some stained glass. This stuff could look really cool. I'm just going to build these walls going all the way up to the ceiling like that. That is looking pretty awesome and all right now i gotta build an actual gaming setup in here so uh here first things first let me grab a desk and ooh, wait a minute i think i already know what type of desk i'm going for check it out this one is green and it's made out of hacker wood i need one of those and uh i, I guess this works uh, uh, what the what is all this uh, uh, why is my gamer setup uh, is, is this your fountain right here what is this oh yeah this is where i get my water it's not even fountaining uh it's not turned on yet and, what, <laughs> what is this uh don't ask questions you don't want to answer for it. Uh, okay, but uh, anyways, I'm just gonna go back to my gaming setup. I gotta turn this place into an actual gaming setup. So the next thing I gotta do is let me grab some monitors and oh, wait, hold on. These weren't quite the monitors that I was looking for. Hold on. I think I need to search for TVs instead and ooh, yeah. All right, this is what I'm searching for. Okay, let me try putting down this modern TV right here and ooh, that's looking pretty nice. All right, triple monitor setup looking pretty nice. What? You got a triple monitor setup? What? Uh, yeah, you don't. Wait, how do you get a triple monitor setup? I wanna find that. Uh, you just gotta be a really good player like me and then you'll find it. What? All right, well, I don't need a triple monitor setup. I only need one. And then here, the next thing I need is a chair. So let me just grab one of those and put that down right over here like that. That's looking pretty good. But anyways, wait, hold on. Ruby, you have a triple gaming monitor setup as well? Triple? No. See? What? <laughs> you have four? Yep. Oh, no. Oh, that's right. I forgot my other six. What the? What are you guys searching to get this stuff? Um, it's a TV, duh. Hold on, wait. I'm just gonna break through this window and steal yours. Thank you. Wait, what? All right, now let me just put down a few more over here and, uh, okay, mine don't look as good. I'm not gonna lie. I think I need to extend my desk a little bit like that and then put those over there and, hey, there we go. Now I've got a triple monitor set up as well. All right, but anyways, I've got my triple monitor set up done, but, hmm, what do I need to build next inside of this room? What other stuff do I need inside? side of a computer setup. Oh, wait, hold on. I know. What about I put down a fan? That way, in case it's getting too hot in here, I can cool myself off. Yeah. Oh, that's a pretty good idea. Yeah, I got my very own air conditioning in here. Let's go. Oh, that's all right. I guess I could get some air while I'm um, airborne. And, uh, what? Airborne? What are you talking about? <laughs> what is this? Why do you have so many more monitors in here? And, uh, what, what is this big piston sticking out the floor? Nothing. Don't worry about it. What? Did you build yourself a trampoline just so that you could see all your monitors? That is crazy. Yep. I'm gonna put up some plants so I can touch grass. Uh, that sounds like a good idea. And Oh, wow. Okay, Ruby, you made your gaming setup very interesting. You have an entire donut stand in here? Where do you see donuts there? Where do you see donuts there, Dash? And uh Oh, I, I meant a muffin stand, but whoa, this place is crazy. You have bookshelves as well. That's actually kind of a cool idea. I might have to snag those. Why is there a table on top of a piece of glass on top of a pot? It's called decor. Get used to it. What? Okay, that's kind of interesting. You also have a plant hanging on the ceiling here, which is kind of cool, but hold on a minute. I'm gonna copy your bookshelf idea. Let me put down a few bookshelves right over here like that and all right i think my computer room should be done uh, yours is looking very uh basic yeah you know i don't need much i don't need a crazy setup like you guys all i got is my fan and my monitors and then i can do a lot of stuff yeah maybe simple is better for you all right all right but anyways this area is starting to look pretty good we got all three setups done but hold on a minute where should we build the stairs to get down to the next floor <gasps> wait why don't we build it over here we got a lot of extra space oh yeah that's the only place where we do have space actually all right all right here let's start digging out a 
bunch of space again here We just got to start digging down onto the next floor and hold on a minute guys Why are we building out a line glass for the stairs? I'm pretty sure there's actually hacker stair blocks that we could use Wait, what show me? Yeah, check it out. Look at that. That looks sick. What? That looks so good Wait, now our entire house is gonna look like these blocks. Maybe we should just stick to the lime stained glass Yeah, variety is a little good. All right. All right. Well here. Let's just build the staircase first Let's go ahead and dig down all the way over here and all right I think this should be deep enough now. Let's start clearing out some more space all right I'll dig this way. All right, sounds good. And uh, wait a minute, guys. Hold on. I just realized that last floor that we built, it's kind of like all sticking out into the cave. We got to cover this up. Wait, what? No, we have to do it now. Cover it up, cover it up quick. We cannot have anyone randomly see this and then try griefing our base. That'd be bad. Try to make it look natural, too. Yeah, yeah, here. We got to put the blocks in like a natural pattern like that. Yeah, this is totally natural. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Yeah, hopefully no one tries to mine this, but uh, let's go back to building. All right, back to the room. We got to clear out some more space. We're almost deep enough that we don't have to worry about this anymore, but we still got to go a little bit deeper. Uh, wait, guys, wait, 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 wait. What are we putting on this floor? And uh, oh, yeah, that's actually a good question. Hmm, what should we put on this floor? And <gasps> wait a minute, guys. One thing that we haven't built yet is our bedrooms. That's like the most important part of a house. Wait, that's an awesome idea. Is this enough space for three bedrooms, though? Hmm, okay. I think this should be enough. Ooh, guys, what we could do is have like a, a wall over here with all of our bedrooms. So we could have like a door over here for my bedroom, and then it could like go into the wall and then we can have another door for someone else's bedroom uh, and then another door for someone else's bedroom okay well i guess i'll call dibs on this bedroom i'll go in the middle i'll take this one and all right here now it's time to clear out a bunch of space for my bedroom my bedroom is gonna look absolutely sick okay hopefully we don't run into each other guys oh yeah hopefully we don't break into each other's walls that would be kind of an issue and oh wait i think i just broke into your walls ruby seriously it's fine it's fine i'll cover it up i'll cover no! it up and, uh, did i just hear tnt what was that uh trying to clear out some spots oh oh Oh, uh, the with TNT. Okay, fair enough. Fire in the hole. This might be too much. I'm going to break some. Do not break my room. Wait, hold on. I'm not going to lie. Kim's idea actually seems pretty good. I'm going to use some TNT for clearing out space as well. And <gasps> wait a minute, guys. There's some crazy TNTs we could use. Whoa, TNT times five. I'm using this. You better be careful, boy. Wait, wait, hold on, guys. I'm about to do some uh, demolition right here. I got to clear out a little bit of space in my room with this TNT times five. Actually, wait, hold on. I'm kind of scared of this. Should I do it, guys? Oh, uh, no, you yeah, shouldn't yeah, yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to dig kind of deep, though, but just in case it clears out a bunch of space. Let me just uh, blow this up and all right guys fire in the hole it's it's literally in a hole watch out and oh wait it just went off and ooh wait that's actually not too bad it didn't clear out too much space that's like the perfect amount all right i'm gonna blow up another one of these let me just light it off over here there we go all right all right let's see this come on clear out some space and hey that was awesome and oh sorry about that ruby uh you think uh we can just cover that up that was minimal damage all right that that was a big deal whatever all right well that tnt was actually kind of useful now let me just go ahead and repair this wall over over here so that I can have my door back. There we go. That's looking pretty good. And all right, nice. Now that I've got a bunch of room to work with here, it's time to start making the bedroom. Hey, baby. Wait, what? Hey, stop looking. I'm trying, guys. The, the walls are thin. What, did you guys break into each other's rooms again? Yeah, this is a problem. Once we're done building the actual rooms, though, we probably won't be breaking into each other's rooms. It should be fine. <sighs> okay, whatever. Wait, Ruby, since you got the middle room, I think that's like the unluckiest spot since me and Cameron are probably going to take up like the most space. Yeah, I shouldn't have chosen this spot. Oof, yeah, but you don't have anywhere to go to on like the sides maybe i should just dig further down what just like make your room super long oh uh, yeah i guess so that sounds like an interesting idea but anyways i think my room should be about big enough now now it's time to start decking out the inside so uh hmm what do i want the interior to be made out of and oh, wait a minute i think i know what i'm gonna use i'm gonna use a little bit of purple stained glass let's go well that's kind of fancy yep this room is gonna be super fancy i'm gonna use a bunch of quartz blocks for the floor and then a bunch of purple stained glass everywhere it's gonna look awesome and oh wait a minute hold on I have a pretty cool idea for what I can do on my floor. What if I have like a big glass area just showing off this giant hole that I made? That could look pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if that'd be relaxing to look at. No, no, no. It's gotta be really relaxing to look at. Who doesn't like to look at big uh, TNT crater holes? Yeah. Uh, me? I'm scared of heights. What? It's not that tall. It's only like uh, like 10 blocks. Oh, what? 10? I thought it was gonna be like 100. Okay. No, nah, it wasn't that tall. But anyways, let me just go ahead and replace my ceiling with a bunch of these quartz blocks. This area is gonna look so fancy. Mm. Mm, oh, oh, this bed looks nice. And wait, Kim, you're already building your bed. You finished the room already? Yeah. What? Okay, wait, hold on. I want to see what your room looks like. I'm coming over right now. Let's see this thing. And 
Uh, what is this? Why does this look like a cave? Oh, uh, yeah, that's the aesthetic I'm going for. <laughs> what? Um, okay, fair enough. It kind of looks like a dragon cave. Yeah, because I've got that dragon in me. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. All right, but anyways, I'm almost done with setting my ceiling into some quartz blocks. So there we go. That is looking pretty good. And all right, now it's time to work on the walls. Let's see. What should I build the walls out of? And ooh, what about some purple concrete? This could look pretty good. Let's just put a bunch of purple concrete all around the walls over here. This is going to look pretty crazy. Wait, hold on, Ruby. Can I see what your room's looking like? I want to take a sneak peek. And oh, hi there. Oh, uh, sure. You can come in. Uh, I'm already looking kind of. Oh, uh, hey. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, I was looking through the wall. Did you not see me? No, I wasn't looking at you. Close this up. Wait, hold on. I want to see what the room looks like. Is it looking nice? And all right, it, it, not bad. It's looking pretty cool. Okay, but close that up. I don't want people looking into my room. Don't worry, don't worry. I closed it up. But anyways, I'm just going to keep working on my walls over here. This area is looking pretty sick. It's looking so modern. And Oh, hi there, Cam. Hi. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm done building my room. Oh, nice. Wait, you want to help with my room? Uh, Yeah, sure. Uh, <gasps> what's that over there? And what, what? What's what? What? what what are, you, what, what are you doing? Are you trying to turn my room into a cave? Hey, stop, stop, stop. What are you doing? No, I was making a smiley face. You you just didn't see it. What? Oh, I thought you were trying to turn my room into a cave. Uh, I think he was trying to prank you, dude. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't get pranked. What was that? I said... <laughs> and, uh, hey, yo, yo, stop trying to convert my room to a cave. No caving in here. I wasn't caving. I was making a smiley face, bro. Same thing. Nah. All right, all right. But anyways, my walls are looking pretty good. I just got to keep putting down all of this concrete over here. This wall is almost done. And boom, there we go. That wall is done. All right, now I just got to finish up this main wall right over here and wait a minute hold on cam since you're done with your room you want to start decking out this area over here it's kind of all made out of stone right now oh yeah i got it i got it don't even worry all right all right sick here let me just go ahead and replace my area with some of this purple concrete there we go that's looking pretty good and all right finally now that the base of my room is done it's time to start decking it out with actual you know stuff so here the first thing i gotta do is grab a bed so uh let's see what's the best bed i could use and oh wait this modern purple bed looks kind of cool let me put that down right over here and oh wait this thing looks awesome all right all right modern purple bed it is we'll put that down right over there and then the next thing we need are a few bedside cabinets so let's see what type of bedside cabinet should we use in oh wait there's hacker ones hold on hold on i'm gonna use these hacker bedside cabinets let's go that looks sick mm. oh good 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 and oh wait came are you upgrading the outside room how's it looking oh it's looking great just uh, give me a few minutes i'm not done yet all right all right well here i'm gonna keep working on my room i guess let me put down a few fences over here like this this could look pretty cool we could have like one of these little uh, roofs over here covering the bed that could look pretty nice there we go Ooh, all right i think my bed setup is done but anyways what else do i need inside of my bedroom hmm wait guys what stuff are you building in your bedroom other than the bed uh i'm not the one to ask i'm putting down some tables so people can relax oh all right all right that's kind of cool i need to come up with something i could do like that but i don't want to do tables because that seems kind of boring maybe you go on a tv in your room mm, tvs all right but <gasps> What if I put down some books? I could get some extra knowledge from them. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess that'll help you go to bed easier. Yep. We got to put down a bunch of books right over there. That's going to be the bookshelf. And then uh, what else? What else do I got to build inside of a bedroom? Ooh, wait a minute. I know. Hold on. What if I build some sort of entertainment? That way I don't get bored in the bedroom. And ooh, I know exactly what I can do. Let me grab a button really quick and also a lamp. I'm going to build a target practice area in my own bedroom. Wait, what? In your bedroom? Yep. It's going to be pretty epic. I can practice my bow aiming from the comfort of my very own bedroom. Uh, uh, won't that disturb your sleep a little bit? Well, I'm not going to do it while I'm sleeping, of course. But wait, actually, I'm pretty sure I can do it from the bed if I wanted to. I can just use this bow to hit these targets over here like this. Boom! This is actually awesome. All right, but anyways, the final thing I need to do for this is grab a chest and some arrows. And I'm just going to put down a bunch of bow and arrows right over here inside of this chest. Let's go. All right, well, anyways, I think my bedroom is about done. And uh, Cam, what the heck is all this? Why are there pistons on the wall? And why is the floor made out of water? Uh, you told me to decorate out here. Uh, oh, th this is your definition of decorating? What is this? Wait, what is happening? What are you talking about? Why is the walls made out of pistons? Cam, I hate this. It looks pretty good to me. This is the ugliest decoration I've ever seen. <laughs> Do we have to replace this? We can't have water on the floor. Well, it's not water, actually. It's a bird bath. Uh, what, a bird bath? Well, do you see any birds down here? No, but uh, it looks cool, doesn't it? This is awful. There's like puddles everywhere. Okay, how about we go ahead and just uh, replace the floor? Floor with something at least. We can keep the piston walls, I guess. But oh gosh, wait, I just realized these are sticky pistons. That means there's gonna be like slime all over our walls. Ew, no. 
Sick. That is not sick. Okay, guys, how about we just replace the floor with uh, something normal? We could use some of these uh, lime stained glass again. That seems boring. Boring? Uh, I think it's a lot better than using bird baths for the floor. What about this? Check this out. And, uh, <laughs> what is that? Uh, that? It's called green. What? It, it's literally just uh, the color green. Well, okay, that is some very bright green. Uh, okay, I guess we can use this for the floor. Sweet! It hurts my eyes really bad, guys. It's like very bright. You want to be careful not to look at it uh, too long. I think I'm going to go blind. Oh, gosh. All right, but I mean, it, it does look kind of cool, though. It's, it's kind of just like the brightest green there is, I think. Ugh, it hurts! Okay, how about we do half green blocks and then the other half at uh, lime stained glass? Uh, yeah, let's put that on our side, Dash. All right, all right, and hold on a minute. Having this lime stained glass next to these green blocks makes the lime stained glass barely look green. It looks like faded out. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, anyways, let's just put down a bunch of lime stained glass right over here like that. There we go. And all right, this, this floor looks uh, all right. It looks pretty interesting. All right, but anyways, I think this room is pretty much done. We've got all the bedrooms done and we've got the floor and uh, the weird wall done as well. Let's go. Yeah, this is looking awesome. Yep, I'm just gonna add some finishing touches right uh, right here. All right, but hold on. Wait, I haven't taken a tour of your guys' rooms yet. Can I see what you guys have inside? Yep. Oh, yeah, mine first. Oh, all right, yeah, I guess we can check yours out first. Did you make any changes since last time? And uh, it's still the cave. Check it out. Pretty nice, it's pretty nice. I see you got your bed set right over here. That's kind of cool. This yep, I got the awful. princess bed because I am the princess. Oh, what'd you say? This looks bad. I mean, it kind of does look bad. It's kind of just like a cave. You take that back right now. And, oh, wait, wait, oh, oh, oh he pulled out a boat. Okay, 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 hold on. Let's go. Let's go check out Ruby's room next. Uh, but let's see. What do you have in here? At whoa, wait. Is there like a birthday going on in there or something? Why are there balloons everywhere? Yep, there are. Uh, let's just go inside. I just popped one. Oh, uh, that's fine. I can always get more. I'm gonna pop all of them. I'm popping another. Ah, wait. One of them's going up to the next floor. All right. Well, that one's gone forever. Oh, come on, guys, over here. All right, all right. Let's see. What do you got inside? And whoa. Okay, I see you got some chairs and ooh, more balloons. Yep, I've got a really comfy table, and then I have my bed. Um very simple girl. Ooh, all right, all right. This area is pretty cool. Wait, hold on. Do these doors open and close? And Oh, wait. I thought these doors open and close. I don't think these are doors. These are windows. Oh, all right. Well, anyways, this is pretty cool. And ooh, you even have a lava lamp over here. All right. But anyways, you guys want to check out my room? I think my room is probably the greatest one here. Uh, I doubt it, but let's go. All right, all right. Everyone enter. Right over here is the most epic room here. Check it out. We got the big, nice window to check out that giant hole that I made because, you know, who doesn't like big holes? Mm, that's pretty cool, but I don't know. And then we also got the beds over here and then finally we also have a chest over here with a bunch of bow and arrows and what you gotta do is try hitting these targets you can like stand on the bed and do whatever you want and you just have to hit the targets let's go all right so i just line up for the target like this cam i'm not the target those are the targets over there you're supposed to hit them and they light up uh, where uh over here uh, uh, uh right there it, it looks like you're aiming at me ow hold on wait i don't think you can actually hit me with your arrows i think i'm too strong oh yeah do you want to try it yeah yeah try it out and, yeah check it out but they're just bouncing right off me uh-huh yeah sure Sure they are. And, uh, wait, hold on. Did you just send me to survival mode? Ow, ow! Room, more, come here. I'm hiding in the cave. You're not going to find me. Uh, it's my room, dude. Of course I'm going to find you. Come here. All right, all right. But anyways, guys, it looks like we have this entire room complete now. We got all the bedrooms done. And the room itself isn't even looking that bad. Other than these walls. But guys, we got to move on to the next floor. What do we do for the next floor? Well, first of all, we have to build the stairs. Yeah, we can build the stairs right over here. And oh, man, the screen is blinding. Wait, guys, I know what we can make the stairs out of. Oh, gosh. Wait, what are you going to say? Sponges? What? sponge. No, dude. Well, what is it with you and uh, the water stuff? It's called uh, artistic design. You guys clearly never went to art school. What the heck? That is not artistic. That is just bad. Uh, I don't know. Let's just keep on building and clearing this out. Yeah, I think we should just uh, stick to not wet blocks. Let's not use wet sponges. Hmm, okay. We've built our bedrooms. We've built some nice homey stuff, but uh, do we need anything for security? And oh, wait a minute. Security! Yeah, you're right. We don't really have much for security other than that like strong door at the front we gotta build this next floor into our security floor we can have like cameras here we could have you know armor and all that just in case we need to fight anyone yeah we need to do everything that we can to keep ourselves from uh being blown up yeah we do not want another villager situation happening again but wait a minute guys hold on what should we build for the walls of this room since this is gonna be the security room we gotta build it super fancy so <gasps> 
Why don't we use some quartz blocks? Ooh, I got it. Wait, well, what's your idea? Dead bush. Dude, for the wall? No, we're not using dead bush. What about some quartz, though? Quartz could look cool. Yeah, let's use some quartz. All right, quartz it is. Let's go ahead and put these all over the wall. Let's go. This area is going to look awesome. I'll start over here. Wait, guys, we should try to speed run the walls. So whoever uh, builds their wall last loses. I'll build this wall over here. I'll build this log one. Uh, I'll build the side. I, I build these walls because they're, like, uh, shorter than the other two. Anyway, Ruby's already building the other one. Come on, Glenn, almost done. Wait, hold on. This is kind of unfair. I have the longest wall here. Uh, you're the one who chose your own wall, dude. Well, I chose it before we were doing the competition. Uh, the wall still, you could have changed, but you didn't. Well, I couldn't have changed. You guys already chose the other two walls. You had first choice and I'm done. What? Okay, well, uh, you, you guys cheated. Hey, you guys go do that wall over there. I'm just finishing up with my wall. What? No, we don't have to. Uh, you said one wall. What? Okay, well, you guys got a shorter wall. Here, let's just do this wall over here all together. And oh, wait, actually, hold on. You guys do that wall. While you're doing that, I'll do the floor. Okay. And wait, hold on. I think I know a fast way that we can clear out this floor. I think it's time for some more TNT. Let's go. Wait, right, what? Careful. Don't worry, guys. I'm only going to use the TNT times one this time. Okay. This might kind of blow up our ceiling. And oh, wait, it, it only did a little bit. It blew up some of the wall. Oof. Well, it sucks to suck. But I, I guess that cleared out a little bit of the floor for us. That was kind of helpful. Uh, can we cover up these bright green blocks? They're hurting my eyes. And yeah, I think we should just replace those blocks with some limestone glass. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, fine. I don't even know where you got those blocks from, but I think lime stained glass is probably better. I've got a guy. You got a guy who sells you blocks? No, I've got a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy. And then that guy sells blocks? No, he knows another guy. What? How long did it take you to get these blocks? Um, three. Three what? Three years? Something along those lines, yeah. Oh, gosh. All right. Well, anyways, this room is looking pretty good now. We got all of the walls and ceiling done, except for this area over here. There's some stone here. We should replace that. All right. Well, this room looks pretty done to me. Uh, we need one more thing. Let's just go ahead and put this uh, smack dab in the middle right there there we go wait, 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 wait hold on what are you putting in here uh, is that a twilight <laughs> wait actually this room kind of does look like a washroom yeah yeah yeah. it's the perfect thing but wait do not remember we were gonna build a security room in here we can't just have a toilet in here uh, oh uh he's using the toilet okay hold on how about we just move the toilet up to the the floor over here because we kind of forgot to build toilets yeah we can we can build a toilet somewhere else but not here yeah why don't we just put down the toilet here for now and then we can make a room for it later but for now we gotta build this security room so uh here first things first let's build a camera room we can have like a big room over here on this side where we can monitor all of our cameras and see if there's anyone intruding the base Ooh, all right so it's gonna be like a little room with a bunch of security cameras in it yep pretty much and ooh, wait a minute guys for the door of this room instead of using a normal door we should use a keypad door that way only people with the code can get in so uh what should we set the code to Ooh, something really really difficult oh wait hold on i know what if we do two five six eight three five one nine six four two seven six five i'm not gonna remember that well it's not that hard to remember it's pretty simple it's just eight three five just one nine six right four here. Wait, did you just write down the code? What? Okay, hold on. I don't think that's a good idea. We gotta do something that we can all remember. So what about we just do uh four, five, six, four? Hmm, that sounds pretty good to me. All right, four, five, six, four it is. Here, let me just enter the code so I can go in. Boom! And this room kind of seems pointless. Uh, what is this cap? No, this is not what I meant. I meant we can have like security camera monitors in here. Uh, the, you said it's a security camera room, right? What? No, I meant this is the room where we can view the security cameras, not have the security cameras inside of the room. Oh, well, instructions unclear. I thought it was obvious, but here, let's just go ahead and break these security cameras. We don't need all of these inside of the room. I'm leaving a one-star review. You're the one that put all the cameras here. Yeah, by bad instructions. Okay, okay, but wait, guys, what we gotta do, everyone grab some camera monitors and some security cameras. Cameras. We gotta go and deck this entire house out with some cameras. So let's just go ahead and, uh, you know, put a few cameras on this floor. We could have one there. Let's have another one over here on this floor. I'm gonna put one right in front of my bedroom. I'm gonna put one right on top of the toilet. What, you're gonna put one on top of the toilet? We're probably gonna move that toilet, you know? It's not that okay. We definitely gotta have one inside of this computer room. Everyone put one inside of their own little computer area. I've got one in mine. And I've got one in mine. Oh, yeah, I got one in mine. Nice, nice. And then let's also have another one in the kitchen like that. And then let's finally have one more over here in the guest waiting area and wait a minute guys we should also put one outside of the base that way we can see if there's anyone trying to get in Ooh, i got it um right here and, uh i don't know about that that's kind of an obvious spot that's kind of going to give away our base we have to keep it hidden so <gasps> wait i know what about inside of the tree over here we can just dig into the tree like this put a camera in like that and then cover it up with some leaves yeah there we go okay that actually looks a lot better yeah wait hold on let me try looking through that camera am i actually going to be able to see anything and oh yeah it's actually pretty good i can see myself and i can also see you Okay, this camera is actually sick. And I'm gonna put mine uh, right here. 
here. And wait, no, 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 Ruby. What you gotta do is put it inside of the tree. Put it in over there. Oh, okay. What you gotta do is put it there and then cover it up. And then you should be able to still see everything. But it's kind of hard to see from the outside. All right, now it's a hidden camera. Let's go. But anyways, now that we all have hidden cameras set up, let's go back inside of the security room. We gotta set up our camera monitors. Let's just pull up over here to the security room and enter in the code. And then here, what we gotta do is let me grab a desk really quick. And we can just put down the desk right over here. And then, ooh, let me also grab one of these desk cabinets. You can put that down over there. And then inside of the desk cabinet, everyone, let's go ahead and put our camera monitors. Okay, and then here's mine. I'm gonna put this right here. All right, and Ken, put yours in the middle so that we don't get them mixed up. Okay, um, there's two blocks in the middle. Which one? What? Just put it in, in this slot over here. Oh, I thought you were... Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna label my camera so I know it's mine. Ooh, all right, good idea. I'm just gonna remember that mine's on the left. But anyways, we've got this area done. Let's also have like a few TVs here for, I don't know, decoration. We could have like a large flat screen TV right there. All right, all right. Now we need some chairs. And all right, I think this area should be looking good. We got a bunch of stuff for our security guards to see if there's anyone breaking in. All right, this looks good to me. Let's go, but... Uh, wait a minute, guys. Hold on. Do we kind of have this entire room made out of quartz blocks? Except for the ceiling. People can just look through the ceiling. We gotta do something about that. Oh, wait. Yeah, you're right. That is a security issue. Wait, how about what we can do is just put some trap doors over here on the ceiling like this. That way, no one can look through. Let's go. Oh, that looks pretty good. Oh, yeah, it's working. I can't see you guys anymore. Yeah, except we can see you. Let's go. Weird. All right, now put in the password. 4564. All right, and let's go. I think this security room is looking good. But anyways, guys, we need to have some other stuff inside of the security room. We have the camera area done, but we gotta set up some armor just in case we have to go out there and fight someone. Oh, true. Which armor should I choose? I don't know, but I'm gonna grab an armor stand really quick and I'm gonna put my armor down right over here. So, uh, let's see. What type of armor should we use? Is there any hacker armor that we could use? Let's see. And, ooh, wait a minute. Hold on, guys. This one over here looks pretty cool. Check this out. This stuff looks sick. Wait, I, I think I just got that. Whoa, check it out. It's like the ultimate hacker armor. Wait, that's pretty, but I don't like how they helmet looks. I think I'll just use my own. Well, what do you mean? The helmet's like your favorite color. It's magenta. Wait, what are you talking about? It's black. No, I mean like the eyes. Oh, uh, I guess so, but I'm gonna choose something else anyway. Alright, but anyways, I'm definitely gonna use this. Let me just put this inside of the armor stand really quick, just like that. Boom! Alright, but anyways, we got the armor down. The next thing we need is some gear. So, what I'm gonna do is grab a barrel and, uh, wait, hold on. Why don't we put the barrels on top of the armor stands? That way we know whose barrel is for who. Oh, yeah, that works. Oh, yeah, okay. And then inside out of the barrel, what we gotta do is put our weapons. So here, I need to find a good weapon for myself. Let's see, what can I use? <gasps> wait a minute, I think I know what I'm gonna go for. What about this axe of a thousand metals? Hold on, wait, check this thing out, guys. This thing looks crazy. Whoa! Oh, uh, my armor. I didn't know I was gonna break the armor stands. Okay, that is actually awesome. Uh, I'm gonna get the same axe, but I'm also gonna get something else. Maybe a chainsaw? What, a chainsaw? I'm just gonna get this sword of the cosmos. Whoa, wait, I think that sword matches the armor. Okay, okay, all this stuff is really cool. Let me just put this big axe inside of my barrel, but anyways, what other gear am I gonna need in case of a battle? I don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna put in some enchanted golden apples. Ooh, good idea, good idea. I'm gonna put in a few ender pearls in mine, because ender pearls are gonna be useful for, like, trying to get around really quickly, and wait a minute, hold on. Endis pearl? What is this? Wait, what is that? I don't know. Hold on. I'm pretty sure it's, like, a really powerful ender pearl. Should we test it out? Uh, maybe outside. What, outside? What's it gonna do? Uh, I don't know, but we can never be too careful. Hold on, hold on. I'm just gonna dig into the wall a little bit. Let's go ahead and toss it in over here and whoa wait check it out guys it's making a black hole wait what uh is it gonna stop uh, is it just wait, a black it's getting hole bigger. It's, wait is it gonna reach our house oh gosh everyone stand back and oh it just blew up oh that was kind of cool though well it blew up that's awesome that was a huge explosion that was sick yeah but i i don't think we should use those inside the base it'll blow up everything and yeah we should probably keep those for uh outside use only but i'm still gonna put a bunch of those inside of my chest that's gonna be kind of clutch in case we need to use them Ooh, i know what i'm putting inside of my chest i'm gonna put some of this tnt and wait what tnt that's a good idea what type uh, i think this tnt times 20 will be good enough Ooh, good idea good idea that way in case there's any enemies nearby we can blow them up but oh wait a minute hold on one more thing i need inside of my chest is a bow because that's gonna be kind of clutching Ooh, wait a minute what about this longbow of the heavens i'm pretty sure this bow matches all of this armor that we were using and oh i just destroyed my armor stand for the third time oh yeah i already got the longbow of the heavens yeah i think this bow is awesome here let me just go ahead and put down my armor stand again there we go and all right now i'm gonna put down a bow with a bunch of arrows inside of my barrel i'm gonna add this atomic disassembler to my chest and what? What is that? I don't know. It looks cool, though. All right. Fair enough. And whoa. Wait, Ruby, what's all this stuff? Uh, It's a place for me to take a nap in case 
she's need a rest before battle. Oh, oh, fair enough. But wait, don't you have the bedroom for that? Uh, sometimes an emergency nap is needed. Uh, okay. Wait, is this a fish tank over here? That's kind of cool. Hey, yep, to relax. Wait, why isn't your fish moving? Wait, what? It's not? I think he's taking a nap. Um, yeah, maybe he is taking a nap. All right, but anyways, I think this armory area is done now. We got all of the armor that we need, but <gasps> wait a minute, guys. Hold on. Instead of armor stands, I have a much better idea. Everyone grab some dispensers. Okay. Armor stands are way too slow. Guys, we have to grab the armor manually from the armor stand and then put them on. Do you know how slow that is? Uh, I guess it's kind of slow, Not yeah. that slow. No, it's very slow, guys. What we gotta do is put some dispensers over here like this and then put a fence on top of it with a pressure plate. And, okay, I think this is gonna work. What we gotta do now is just put our armor in each one of the dispensers. And check it out. Now, if we walk over the pressure plate, boom, we get fully kitted out with armor. That is awesome. Uh, so like this? Yep, just like that. And then you gotta put the fence and then the pressure plate on top of it. And then whenever you walk in, you should get your armor. It's actually so much nicer looking than armor stands. I don't know why we didn't think of this earlier and oh, wait hold on ruby i have a funny idea check this out check this out huh? i'm gonna grab some fireballs and i'm just gonna replace uh cam's armor over here with some fireballs there we go all right let's see when he goes to test it out it's gonna be kind of funny all right there we go and uh, now it's time to test it uh, what the heck was that <laughs> wait cam i think you built your machine wrong uh, no where did all my chest plates go what what are you talking about they're replaced with fire charges ah uh, that's kind of dangerous what happened yeah cam i don't think you should put fire charges inside of that thing you're supposed to like walk into it. Dash, it was you, wasn't it? You you tried to prank me. What? No, that wasn't me. But anyways, guys, I think this area is looking pretty good. We got the armory area done. We got the security stuff done. But hmm, is there anything else that we got to build inside of our house? And oh, wait a minute, guys. We got to build some sort of escape route just in case things are getting too hot. We got to leave. Oh, but wait, how are we going to do that? We're so far underground. And, oh, gosh. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We are kind of deep underground. How could we escape? Hmm. Volcano. And, a, what a volcano do you know how hard it's gonna be to build a volcano ourselves uh yeah it's kind of difficult yeah plus we're in a cave there's not really much of a mountain to build a volcano on why don't we just build like a big pathway to get out of our base from we can just have like a big pathway going super far away from here and then we could have a ladder to get us up to the surface mm, i guess that could work but it's gonna be kind of slow to go through this whole pathway don't you think and hmm yeah you're right you're right that is a good point but oh wait a minute i think i have an idea hold on i need to go grab a command block real quick wait right there oh oh Okay. Let me just pull up to our kitchen and grab a command block. And all right, guys, I have a really banger idea. I'm coming back down. What we can do is put a command block down right over here. And then inside of the command block, I'm just going to put the command slash effect the nearest player with speed 100. And then we can also put a button on top of it and check it out. Whenever you press the button, you'll get speed 100 and you can go super quick. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, whoa. That's crazy hacks. I'm going crazy fast right now. I think I just walked into someone's machine over there by accident. Oh, gosh. Wait, I'm wearing armor or something. Wait, what if instead of a button, we used a tripwire? Ooh, wait, we could use a tripwire. Or wait, better yet, we could use a pressure plate. We could just uh, go here and just uh, put those command blocks out. I'm going too fast. We could put the command blocks down on the floor over here like this. And then we can put some pressure plates on them. Okay, that works. Now when we run away, we can just uh, keep running instead of uh, worrying about stuff like this. But wait, hold on, guys. I think what we should also do, let's go ahead and replace this command block over here with the button into a different command. Let's do slash effect clear. That way, whenever we hit the button, it'll clear our effects and we're not super fast. Also, um, Dash, can we change it from speed 100 to something smaller? I can't control myself. Uh, oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Okay, yeah, yeah. We can change it to something smaller. Let's do like speed uh 50. There we go. Now they're all speed 50. But anyways, guys, now we got to build a big tunnel that's leading far, far away from here. Oh, no, I got speed. That's even better. That means you can walk fast now. No, I, I didn't mean to get it. How do I remove this? Guys, just hit the button if you don't want it. I made the button for a purpose. I Wee! can't hit the button. Just shift. It's not that hard. Oh. But here, guys, let's focus on building this tunnel. We got to build this tunnel going super far away from here so that we have a good chance at escaping. This tunnel, this tunnel, this tunnel. I'm going to wee. What in the world? Okay, yeah, we got to build this thing way longer if you can just go go through it that fast. Yeah, this thing needs to be like a, a hundred billion miles away. Maybe not that long, but we gotta build it pretty long. Everyone just come over here. Keep on digging this way. Alright, I'm right here. Sick! Let's just keep on digging here and... Wait, Cam, are you really trying to make the floor look nice here? Do you know how long that's gonna take? Not that long. Uh, alright, but we're gonna go really far. Let's just keep on going this way and hold on. I'm gonna take a look at how far we are real quick. Let me just dig up over here to the surface and let's see, is this gonna be far enough and... Oh, wait, hold on guys. I think we're in a desert biome now. What the? Whoa! Wait, we're literally in a desert biome now. Uh, I think that means we're far enough that this is fine. Yeah, I think we should definitely be far enough. All right, here. What we got to do now is grab some ladders. And here, let me dig another 
another hole to get up to the ceiling real quick. There we go. And then what we got to do now is just put down a bunch of ladders here to get up. And oh, wow, Cam, you actually made this entire floor look nice. Yep, did it. Nice. All right. But anyways, let's just go ahead and put down a bunch of ladders over here. Oh, we should also have a command block here that clears our speed. And oh, yeah, yeah. Good idea. Good idea. What we can do is just put down two more command blocks over here on the floor. And then inside of them, we can make them slash effect clear. And then we can put some more pressure blades on top of them. There we go. Sounds good to me. Let's go. All right. Well, here, let's just have these ladders go up all the way to the surface now so that we can get a good escape. And all right, I think this escape route is done. But wait, guys, isn't that the village that we tried to steal from earlier? And oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Is it that village? I think it is. Wait, hold on. We got to go over there and check if it's the same village. Wait, I think we're closer than we thought we were. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Let's just go over here. And all right, let's see if there's any missing hay bales here. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to jump on the ceiling so that no one catches me. Let's go. And... Oh, Wait a minute, guys. That's our house over there. This is that village. Oh, wait. We got to get our revenge now. Yeah, wait. Hold on, guys. I think it's time for that uh, missile system. We got to get revenge for them blowing up our house. Wait, 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 guys. I don't think that's a good idea. They were just sad because we stole their bread. Come on, let's do it. No, Ruby. They could have just asked for their bread back. They didn't have to blow up our whole house. Mm, actually, you're right. Yeah, they shouldn't have blown up our house. All right, well, in that case, it's time to blow up that village. Where should we do this? Hold on. We got to go back inside of our base. Let's just go down over here. And, guys, why don't we build a missile silo right here off to the side? Of the escape route. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. I'm down. Oh, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Here, let's just clear out a nice little area over here. Um, is this safe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is gonna be perfectly safe. The next thing we gotta do is dig out a big hole for the missile to go through, because otherwise it's gonna blow up inside of our room. And all right, here, guys. The first thing we gotta do is put down a launcher pad. We can put that down right over there. And then let's grab a few of these launcher frames and just put those on top of it to stabilize the missile. And all right, guys, what missile are we gonna go for? There's a lot we can choose from. Ooh, the antimatter one. Is that the Smallest one? The smallest one? No, that's like the second biggest one. Uh, we don't have to do that much for the village, Oh, do we, we have to do more. Yeah, wait, hold on. I feel like this might kind of blow up our house as well. Hold on, let's find something a little bit smaller. Ooh, wait, hold on. What about the breaching missile? This one says explosive tier two. This one looks pretty awesome. You guys are boring. No, Cam, I just don't want to blow up our own bunker, okay? Come on, you guys don't want to see cool fireworks? These are not fireworks. But anyways, let's just finish up this room really quick. We got to make all the walls look super nice out of some of this reinforced concrete. It is looking good. And then finally, the last thing we should probably do is let's just add a little bit of this security glass over here just so that the blast doesn't, you know, uh, actually affect us. So there we go. We can have that glass there. And then let's also just have a button right over here. And all right, guys, should we take it for a spin? Ooh, ooh, come on, come on, come on. Let's do it. Wait, right now? We just built it. Well, we got to get revenge on these villagers one day. Hold on. I'm going to go up. Can one of you guys hit the button? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Here we go in three, two, one. Let's go. It. Wait, hold on. I think it's going off. Did it work? Uh, I don't really want to check right now. Oh, wait, it just went off. What's going on? Wait, where, where's it going? Uh, it flew up. Wait, did it work? I, I, I didn't really see it. Oh, gosh. Is it going to hit the village? Hold on. I want to get a good view of this. Let's go over here closer to the village. Is it going to hit the village? Wait, I don't know if it actually worked or not. Uh, I definitely seen it go up. I didn't really see it come out of the hole. Maybe it just came out too fast. And <gasps> wait, guys, I think that's it. There it is. It's coming down. And oh, let's go. It just hit the village. But wait, did it even do a lot of damage? Uh, I'm not sure if you should get any closer, Dash. Uh, yeah, you're right. But oh, wait, that barely even did any damage. It just destroyed this one villager house. That sucked. Oof, but hey, I, I, I think that was enough revenge for just a little bit of uh, the bread stealing. I still got this TNT times 20. Wait, don't, don't use that. Oh, yeah, actually, never mind. Light that off. Light that off. No. Ooh, here we go. Oh, oh gosh. No. All right, we better get back for this. And oh, my gosh. That was definitely more than times 20. What? You didn't have to do that. That was pretty crazy. And if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.